Professional wrestling returns to St. Louis at Chaffetz Arena. All Elite Wrestling is bringing an impressive roster of women and men performers that have a wide variety of wrestling styles. The main event this weekend could make history, crowning the company's first African-American world champion in his five-year history. The contender stopped by our studios to talk about his love of St. Louis and music with Fox 2's Jordan Williams. Pro wrestler and performer Swerve Strickland's been chasing history since his arrival in All Elite Wrestling in 2022. I'm on a big influx of just that momentum wave and I need to make sure I solidify myself now before I get lost. He's held tag team gold and has been the first African American to headline a pay-per-view show for the company and is looking to be the man at the top of the food chain when it comes to talent. Something about like myself and Nana and the Mogul Embassy, something about is going to gravitate people back into this business and the sport that we, you know, we dedicate so much to and we like dedicate so much to the fans as well. It's not lost on him that his title opportunity comes in a city that first captured his attention as a young boy. We actually got to see the arch. Uh, St. Louis Rams was my favorite team ever. So uh, the Marshall Falks, the Tory Holtz, the Kurt Warners, that was my favorite era of football. So I, that's what made me a football fan and a St. Louis Rams fan. And so I always wanted to see the arch ever since that time. So I finally got to see it today. And it's not just flips and football that fill Strickland's time. Music plays a big part as well. Working with some big names in the music industry, even creating his own theme song with flash garments. So I just went to Hollywood with just a mutual connect that we had, and he introduced me to Flash. Uh, flash was coming off of just working with uh, Kanye West in, on the Donda album. So we like got introduced to one another, and we just like, we gelled very well. The Tacoma, Washington native is now just hoping his journey to greatness changes here in the Gateway City. It all comes full circle. I remember watching that Super Bowl and it was like, this is my favorite team, this is my favorite. I want to go to the city so bad. And I was like, oh my, now my title match, the main event of pay-per-view is like in St. Louis. So it's kind of crazy how that works out. Jordan Williams, Fox 2 News. And tickets for AEW Dynasty are on sale at Ticketmaster. Doors open at 5 for the pre-show. AEW Dynasty Zero Hour starts at 6.